everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Just want to say thank you guys again for the support of the channel. Special thank you for those on the Patreon and those that donate just a little bit extra uh, for the health and well-being on the snakes. So I decided um, maybe make a video of uh, the boas since we know most of us like the boas a lot more than the other species out there. So let's talk about some of the darker genes that you can look for. Um, not everything has to be IMG for it to be a dark snake. And some of the stuff gets a little bit darker than others. And some of it can stay in a nice uh, price range without paying thousands of dollars um, and having to buy um, an IMG. So if you can find a really good deal on an Argentine, um, the classic black and white Argentine would be uh, her right here. And they're not completely black, but they do have a very nice dark uh, color to them. And we can see on the, her tail, that is a pure Argentine. Um, you guys can find crosses between a BCI or a true red tail, although they're not as dark as the traditional uh, Argentines but they do look phenomenal as well and they're a lot cheaper than just a pure blood. So just wanted to show her and every time I get her out, she looks better and better. And I know a lot of you guys do like the Argentines. They are kind of a little difficult to find. Most of the time when people are breeding them, uh, there is a weight or if there's not a weight, they get scooped up pretty fast. So if you're looking for an Argentine and you find a breeder, I would not hesitate too long into buying those because uh, they're not going to be around for very long. But I think the pricing is coming down a little bit. Not a lot, but they're not $1,000 as far as I know anymore. I think you can get them around $800, which is still... Uh, they're worth it. They're definitely worth seven, eight, or 900 If you have to pay $1,000, I, I would pay... I'd pay a thousand <laughs> just because they're unique. Not everybody has them and um, they're not doing so well in the wild. So they are on the endangered list or a watched list. So they're not imported. So you do have to find a special breeder. This girl does look phenomenal and the colors are fantastic on her. So let's check out the next snake. All right, so the next one we're going to look at is, it's not, I mean, it's a little bit of a darker gene, so it's the motley. Uh, the motleys do carry some uh, very dark colors in them to begin with. You can see the tail is a little dark. This one has very, very nice patterns on the tail. I really like the, the patterns on her. And so motleys do get a little bit darker as they age. They might be a little bit lighter as babies. Um, but I have seen some very, very dark adult uh, motleys. Not jet black like an IMG, but uh, definitely very, very black on the tails. Sometimes I've seen uh, them lose almost all the patterns, but I think this girl is going to show a lot of her patterns as she grows up. And you can see that the, the darker saddles more so on them, and then the head is not very dark and then the sides are layered which i really like on the mollies a lot of people don't like mollies but i think a lot of people just don't like it because of the name but when a motley is introduced to a variety of different genes uh, it looks fantastic and it can definitely darken up a snake when it is added into the correct stuff i just wanted to show her off we haven't seen her in quite a while but she's doing very well growing nicely and she is going to be phenomenal as an adult so she is 100% head for albino not that that really matters because i don't have a albino male but just wanted to show her off to you guys so we'll check out the other three smaller ones that are definitely a lot darker than the other ones all right so this one is an img it's a Motley Hypo Jungle, the IMG. And I've had her for about a year, and she's definitely getting a lot darker ever since I had her. Uh, we can see her tail was pretty red when I got her. She's kind of flicking her tail. But 
it's really cool um, to have been watching her change colors through her sheds. And then you can see that she's pretty dark on her nose. And what's cool about her is she is 100% het for snow. So she has the ingredients to make IMG snows and IMG moon glows. So uh, this girl is just phenomenal. I really don't want her to go completely black and I don't think she will um, because I would love to still be able to see these patterns on her. And it's interesting because IMG is the increasing melanistic gene. And so as they age, they do get darker, but it all plays out into what's added into them. There's some genes that make them go completely jet black. And then there's some genes that really don't show up. So like hypo, for instance, I've seen some IMG hypos that don't even look IMG until they're over a year old or maybe even two years old when they start showing some black speckling. So it's kind of crazy on how a lot of these genes play out. So since it, since there is the hypo in here, I don't think she's going to go jet black, which is good. No, I don't know a lot about the genes. I really don't know what will happen with an IMG jungle. They might go pretty dark. I don't think they would go jet black though. So we'll see what happens with her in the future. She still has a lot to grow up, but she does look phenomenal. And we will check out this dude right here. So this one right here is an IMG Motley, still very young. It's really interesting because he will, his, the colors on him changed pretty drastically throughout the day. So right now he actually looks pretty light, but sometimes his head will be like completely dark and then all of his patterns will be very, very dark. And then sometimes like it is now, um, where, it, where it's very light. So I don't know if that's a transitioning, transitioning uh, thing for them as they uh, change colors. But I do need to bump this guy up on food. And he needs a couple more sheds to really know what's actually going on in the colorations in him. So this girl right here is a 2021 VPI IMG. And this girl is very, very unique to me. So the colorations are really cool. Uh, it's the IMG with the T-positive albino. So it's not a true albino, but it uh, it's still considered an albino. So the sides have really darkened up since I've gotten her. She will probably stay this color um, through, an, through her adulthood. She might get a little bit darker, but since it does have the, the albinoism, uh, they kind of counteract with each other, which is really cool. So it's kind of hard to keep her still. And then I've had her for quite a bit. So she's a very large 2021. But nonetheless, this girl is gorgeous. I love the, you can still, well, barely can see the patterns on her. I love the tail. And then the markings on her head are really cool as well. So really excited to see what she's going to actually look like as an adult and she just got done shedding so I soaked her her water uh, just to bump the humidity up with that so got to clean that out um, everybody else is doing really well so again I appreciate the support on the channel just wanted to show you guys some uh, darker snakes and let you guys know that uh, you know if you guys want a dark snake you don't have to get an IMG necessarily you can get an Argentine you can get a motley and hopefully it changes a little bit darker than uh, it is as a, as a baby. But, you know, if you really, really, really want a jet black uh, boa, I would say you'd have to go with the traditional IMG with, with no other influences in it. Um, or um, I think I think they're called the Black Devils. I really don't know what's involved with that, but it is a, a combo of IMG with other stuff, which makes it 
100% jet black. And those are really cool too, but they're so expensive. But um, just letting you guys know, letting you guys see some of the BOA stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.